Today on Logan Lee Adventures. Konnichiwa! We decided to stay up to get complimentary tickets to the legendary Tushiki Fish Market Tuna Auction in Tokyo. Not only is it the largest wholesale fish market in Tokyo and Japan, it's the number one for the entire planet. The famous tuna auction before the sun rises most mornings are free of entrance, and that's what we intend to do. First, we had wandering around town visiting the CD parts, then we took to the metro closer to the market where we evidently started to doze off. We found a 24 hour sushi place that we're gonna head in because it's about midnight right now and it's too late to catch the metro back. So, we're just gonna grab some food. Classic, right? The first tour is allowed to attend the auction between 5.25 a.m. and 5.45 a.m., which is us. However, we had to arrive earlier to ensure to reserve our spots since the tickets go out quick. So this is the waiting area. I'm filming on my iPhone because my camera battery died. I know, such unfortunate timing. But this will do. <laughs> so only 120 people are allowed each day and it is currently 2.28 a.m. And we're one of the first 60 people. And so there's two groups of 60s. 5.30 a.m. And we're heading, finally heading after a night of camping out to the fish auction at the fish market. And that was the auction! Truly, if you blink, you miss out on it. I highly suggest this experience for those who love food just as much as we do, but want to see the behind the scenes in the industry that gives us the best of what we eat on our plates. It's also a unique experience to Tokyo itself. Afterwards, since we're inside the Suzuki market, on the perfect time, which is right after 6am when the restaurants open up to serve the best slices of sushi of the day, we duck into a nondescript sushi bar. Honestly, I think you can't go wrong with any of them, because even this random one that we have no clue what the name is, we had hands down the best sushi of our lives. The best. You know how hard it is to get that reputation from us who eat sushi like we drink water? So to conclude our full fish market experience in Tokyo, we're in this little cozy nook of a, I guess a little place, a little sushi joint for some breakfast sushi. It's like 6.30 a.m. right now and the fish is fresh. We continue the day through Tokyo, already pulling a full all-nighter. We figure, why not? We head to the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building where we found ourselves at the observation deck that gave us a full view of Tokyo from 202 meters above the ground. I mean, look at this view. We haven't slept over 24 hours. We've just had the best sushi of our lives. And now we're high above the city. Tokyo is truly a manic, hyperactive assault on our senses. So uh, we're here in this line, fully embracing my inner Asian with the umbrella. 
because it's hot as fuck in Tokyo. Another day in summer and hot and humid summer. But this is the line. It's actually not that bad now. And extends to across the street. And we're in the line for this one star Michelin restaurant, Konekiru. It's one of the few ramen shops, ramen stores that actually is a Michelin star restaurant. My boyfriend's having fun with this one. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so we can't wait to actually chow down. I think we've been waiting for a while. Um, time kind of just melts into one after a while. And it's been like an hour out in the sun. But thank God we have this handy dandy umbrella. Thank God. Asian ancestors for coming up with this. Alright, so we'll check back in with you as soon as we get closer to the line and hopefully get in before closing, which is like in an hour and a half. So we finally made it to the entrance of this line. And we just have a few more people to go until we get in for our ramen. Okay, so you want that? One more? Mm -hmm. These two? No. Yeah. One and six. Yeah, one and six. Anything else? So Saku Menkobo Nakiru, or aka Nakiru, are for true fans of ramen, or as the Japanese call it, Raota, ramen otaku. Heck, even now in this intimate space, I line up for another three hours just so I can have one more bowl. These ultra-thin ten ten men noodles have a distinctive sesame flavor that are made from little water and no eggs. A range of homemade noodles are selected to best match the dish. For example, the rich and fragrant soy sauce ramen is paired with flat, medium thickness straight noodles. Soups are made from primarily with whole chicken and ingredients like beef bones, vegetables, dried fish and even a lavish helping of raw oysters. The egg is added in afterwards as a topping. Mm -mm -mm. Domo arigato for watching our Japan adventures. We're gonna go back to slurping up the best ramen of our lives, so give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe for more travels.